Hello and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Here we have the latest novelty radio from China, just arrived today, the um, TID Radio H3 or TDH3. And um, I thought I'd just test it <clears throat> to see what comes out of it. This is on 145.525 MHz, 2 meter amateur band. This is a power meter, won't register less than half a watt <clears throat> digital power meter. And this is spectrum analyzer with 70, that's 70 dBs of attenuation, 40 dB power attenuator, 30 dB lower power attenuator, giving 70 dBs. And I've programmed into here <coughs> somewhere, um, external gain, you probably can't read it, minus 70 dBs. So the <coughs> power reading on the spectrum analyzer will be really representing the power output from the transmitter. If I press the button, what comes out? So it's <coughs> peak search to the, the main peak. And that is at 65.9 megahertz. 66 megahertz is the main output frequency with a power level of minus 20, no, sorry, plus 22 dBm. So plus 22 dBm is about uh, 140 milliwatts coming out at uh, <clears throat> 66 megahertz, although it's supposed to be on 145.525. And then there are harmonics of the 66. That teeny, tiny little peak there is actually the 145 megahertz which is negligible in output power. Here the second harmonic is, uh, it's not easy doing this. There, 133 megahertz minus 1.8 dBm, so it's just a bit less than one milliwatt. And then the third harmonic is uh, here, which is 200 megahertz, let's call it minus 16 dBm. So there's practically nothing at 145 and a big signal at um, 66 megahertz, but it's not even the four or five watts this is rated at. Oh, I had a timeout. <laughs> I set a one minute timer on transmit. It's set to high power. Obviously it's faulty because it's certainly not putting out four or five watts on 145 megahertz. Oh dear. <clears throat> um, I tested it at other frequencies and uh, it's also not putting out much power. <clears throat> and I just checked I wasn't doing something wrong. <clears throat> and I put in here instead my um, Quansheng UVK5, <clears throat> and that gives the expected output power of 36 dBm plus 36 at um, 145 megahertz, <clears throat> as it should be, which is read on the power meter here. And this power meter has registered nothing. Um, normally it would register the output power. There's nothing registered because the, the power is too low to trigger the meter. So this is my first ever TID radio probably going to be my last TID radio and uh, it's an encouragement not to buy Chinese um, novelty equipment when you can buy Japanese real equipment which okay <clears throat> it costs five times more but it usually works a lot better anyway I'm not going to rant <laughs> I'm just going to send it back or they can give me a refund and then this sadly goes in the trash the receiver works fine it's the same as the Quan Sheng in terms of sensitivity and the display is beautiful much nicer than the Quan Sheng. You can't really see the colors, but it, it is colored. So um, it's a nice receiver, but on transmit, it's obviously dead. <clears throat> I get a full red bar up to five on here, which shows it's the high power mode, not the low power mode, but the um, the output power is practically nothing. And what there is, is on the wrong frequency. So I mean, it's dangerous to use. This would be illegal to transmit with because it's transmitting at the wrong frequency. So uh, be careful you check it before you go on the air. That's the end of my video. Please remember to like if you did like, subscribe, or please make comments or ask questions, or maybe even tell me what I'm doing wrong. I have been all through the menus several times, and I even read through the manual twice to see if there was some setting I'd overlooked, but uh, apparently not. I think it's just dead. So um, thank you, and see you in the next video.